Oregon white oak and oak communities that you find in the Willamette Valley are one of the most imperiled ecosystems in the entire United States. Today, more than 95% of those communities are gone compared to 150 years ago, making it important that we act to protect them now. Across the Willamette Valley, there are a number of groups that are involved in the protection and enhancement of oak habitat. Many of the groups, like the Nature Conservancy, directly acquire and manage properties that have oak habitat on them. And other groups, like the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service or local watershed councils, are working with private landowners to do voluntary efforts which enhance the oak habitat and protect large oaks. There are a number of things a landowner can do to protect the Oregon white oaks if they have them on their property. First and foremost, ensure that they're in wide open areas. Uh, if there are other trees or vegetation encroaching on those oaks, those can be cut down and removed. Prescribed fire is another tool that many professionals use to maintain the oaks and the oak system. Oaks are very slow growing. And what will happen when you take fire out of the equation, which was used by the indigenous peoples here in the valley to keep the habitat open, is all the shrubs and the trees will come up and crowd out the oaks. This is a system that historically burned about once a year, which kept the wide open characteristic savanna look. And lighting fires is really important because it keeps disease down, it keeps pests down, um, it also keeps uh, branches from being too close to the ground. Thin out the oaks so that the, the crowns aren't touching. The ones that are left after you're thinning will just grow a lot, lot faster. Some of the other things that we've done after we've cleared away some of the blackberries and things is uh, we'll come back in and reseed underneath the, the oaks and we've done that in a variety of ways. Um, one of the things that we've done is we've used goats and the goats will come in and they'll eat a lot of the leafy uh, brush. And then from there, we've come in with some of our livestock and used the livestock to help reseed. In the fall, what we'll do is broadcast seed and then take some of the lighter calves and, and feed them hay in the woodlands. And, and the seed will fall out of the, the hay and a combination of that and the cows uh, hooves will help pack some of that seed into the ground and helps reestablish some of the grasses underneath the oaks and that's worked very well for us. You know, oak restoration is not difficult work. It, it's, it's very doable. It won't be possible to purchase all of the important habitat and preserve it. The money isn't there. It's really up to the landowners who own these habitats to make decisions about how they manage the lands to preserve the native plants and wildlife.